How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I am going to be predicting the upcoming Battle Royale reward. I believe it's going to be Gary Carter. Now I can 100% confirm that the first reward is going to be Casey Mize. I talked about that in my previous upload but I'm going to show some evidence on why I think it's Gary Carter and also something that's kind of throwing me off to where I'm not 100% sure. I'm not as sure as I was about Casey Mize but if you notice here this looks like a legend player he has the high socks you can kind of see that he has one batting glove on and then you can kind of see his left elbow uh, also these cleats uh, are the generic SDS cleats I'll go ahead and hide the face cam so you guys can take a look at some of these clues in more depth so if you notice here it does have the SDS studios logo on um on the cleats and these are the generic cleats so what i did was i tried out the 84 overall gary carter that is also a part of the mets organization or at least that card from the mets last year though gary carter had his card from the expos i'm pretty sure so it would have been a nationals type of team if you notice here on this screenshot this is the same gary carter the 84 overall impact veteran and he has the matchup for the cleats he also has the matchup for the stirrups but the thing that's throwing me off is if you notice on his right arm he does not have a wristband if you notice on this screenshot right here he does the batting gloves are also a little bit different i think i think that it depends on the colors that you're using for your uniform of course especially in diamond dynasty but i really think that uh, the wristband is throwing me off more than anything else when i saw this screenshot right here i thought to myself you know maybe it's mike piazza maybe it's john olerud john olerud wears long sleeves or uh, he also doesn't have high socks and he also wears different cleats if you notice this glove right here it is a red glove this is another thing that's throwing me off uh from being gary carter gary carter on his other uh, Mets version has a beige glove so that's kind of confusing if you notice he does have the right arm wristband or the the wristband on the right side there while he's trying to catch this fastball I thought for a second you know maybe it's David Wright he would have probably a little bit of a different swing in that swinging reveal but uh, here's a good example of what Gary Carter looks like on my Diamond Dynasty team going up against the Orioles in a play versus CPU game. Notice how he doesn't have that wristband on the right side. So what I did was I put Mike Piazza on my team as well as John Olerud, compared them, and neither one of them match up as well as this Gary Carter does. Uh, Mike Piazza doesn't have high socks. He does have the wristband. But you would be able to see his numbers depicted on the wristband. In MLB The Show 19, Gary Carter has what looks to be like the batting gloves depicted. The wristband on the right side, but he doesn't have the correct cleats or the high socks. So these are things that are kind of throwing me off from what would eventually be this card right here. If it is Gary Carter, this was the car, uh, Gary Carter from the Montreal Expos. This is the one I was talking about from MLB The Show 19. And this card would be ultimately really good in MLB The Show 20. 90 power against both sides, 120 vision. The contact means a little bit more than the vision attribute this year. But if they gave him diamond fielding with you know mid-50 speed, that card's going to be extremely effective and a great battle royale flawless reward chosen for this upcoming Tuesday if that's who they decided to go with. I'm still going to keep up with some of the clues. I've been tweeting them out. I've been posting them on Instagram. I figured for the remaining portion of this video, we would go ahead and get into the Moonshot event. I'm still working on making World Series this season. I'm at about 840 rating. And I'm still probably about three or four games away uh, from making World Series if I win those games in a row. And uh, the reason why I'm hopping into this Moonshot event is because uh, it's going to end tomorrow. So I wanted to kind of get into this, have some fun, playing on All-Star. I didn't uh, stream yesterday, just kind of took the day off. I was hanging out with my family for Father's Day and stuff like that. But uh, I wanted to kind of hop on the Moonshot event. I wanted to get some gameplay so that way I could upload a video today as well as talk about some of the upcoming content. Uh, if there was one Battle Royale reward that I'm looking to pick up. Right now, it would be the Casey Mize. I think that that card will end up being one of the best pitchers in the game. At least a top five pitcher when he is released, if not the best one. I think that uh, you could argue that he, he could be better than Kluber 
depending on what his stats are and the pitch repertoire that he gets. If he has a changeup, I have no idea how they would do that, but I think that uh, depending on which pitch they take away, that's going to come in, a, in effect there. So here we go with the pinch hitter down to our last three outs in this moonshot event. Juan Soto is tying it up. This Juan Soto card is extremely good. I mean, I still think he is usable in Diamond Dynasty. I mean, there are other guys that you can use that hit righties with a little bit better attributes, but that Juan Soto has an amazing swing, just seems to get a lot of perfect, perfect hits for me and has been amazing since I picked that card up. One of the best face of the franchise diamonds for me. Anyway, we do take the lead in this game. Got thrown out at second base. I hit into a double play with Reggie Jackson. That was a nice play from Jazz Chisholm, by the way. I thought that that was a really nice play. Saved the entire inning, in my opinion, from uh, really having a chance to break it open. But right here, we have a chance to throw out the runner at the plate. If we got a perfect throw there, we might have been able to throw him out to win the game there. That would have been an interesting way to end it. But we will go into an extra inning. Uh, we're playing in the moonshot event, so this isn't like viewer games where we just friendly quit uh, after, you know, after the game's tied after four innings or anything like that. So we really need to score a few runs right here to make sure that uh, the opponent doesn't walk us off in the bottom of the fourth inning. I mean, he's only, uh, you know, one swing away from really breaking it open. He has had a couple base runners, just did not get the home run or that big hit into the gap. To score that run so here it is bottom of the fourth inning down to the last two outs we're up by one and he ties it up with another solo shot so a back and forth game in this one definitely a solid game i mean he scored one run in almost each and every inning to this point i went scoreless in the top of the fifth but in the top of the sixth inning we end up uh, taking a one run lead so we were able to hold him in the fifth inning both of us put up a zero which was the first one of the game pretty much for both teams and now we take the lead here with a two-run shot from Taylor Trammell so uh, we get a couple more base hits still uh, only that one out in the top of the sixth inning a 3-0 count he walked Cody Bellinger the previous batter I was trying to grind some stats out with him well I have Didi Gregorius on deck and uh, he hits the grand slam followed up by a two-run shot from Nolan Gorman. This guy left his pitcher in. J.B. Wendelkin has been out there for 11 pitches or so. He's given up a grand slam. That was his first batter. He gave up another two-run shot. Now here he gives up a solo shot. 15-5 to five game, all with one out, all with, with only one down in the top of the six. We really need to keep it going. I mean, anytime we start to hit like this, I'm looking to put up, you know, 10, 15 runs. I'm trying to hit around in the order as many times as I can. Start to uh, square the ball up, get rewarded on some uh, strange swings as well. I mean, pitches that are borderline off the plate, pitches that are right on the corner. Uh, we're starting to square up a little bit more consistently. Then he's going to throw the ball down the middle because his pitcher has no confidence. He didn't take a mound visit. He didn't uh, take his pitcher out. So we are trying to tack on as many runs as we possibly can. We have 14 runs scored in this inning. All with one out. We uh, we did get the out somewhere in the middle of scoring all these runs. We have Nolan Gorman up again with the bases loaded. He didn't want to face Cody Bellinger. He didn't want to face Didi Gregorius. He ends up intentionally walking both of those guys and then accidentally walked Reggie Jackson. And we're just going to clear the bases with a, uh, a jam shot into the gap that got by him for a triple. So now we have Brandon Marsh up. This opponent got to the point where he just gave up on pitching. Just at this point, I mean, 22 runs scored. He just starts throwing the ball down the middle and uh, letting the computer pitch it. And this is actually when he gets the out. I mean, I realized that he was giving up. Once I saw that his pitcher, he was just letting the CPU throw the pitches. I really, I really just kind of stopped trying. I was just moving the PCI around in a little bit and then end up dropping it here for the second out in the inning. So he ends up getting two outs by not even really playing. We take an 18 run lead though, uh, going up 23 to five. So now we really need to just get the last three outs. I don't need to walk anybody. I don't need to you know, try to pitch creatively. Just try to get the outs, just throw pitches over the plate. I'm using like my last pitcher anyway, Garrett Richards, who is a starting pitcher, probably the best right-handed pitcher, starting pitcher anyway, that you can use in this event. But uh, yeah, we're just looking to close this one out 23 to 5. What a way to finish this one off from what would have been a really close game. See, I started to mess around a little bit as well. Realized pressing R1 might not be the move. 
but we make the diving play to end it there. 23 to five ball game. Game called to a mercy rule, even though it was in extra innings. Uh, five for five with Nolan Gorman with three home runs and eight RBIs. And that was a pretty crazy game. We scored 18 runs in one inning, but that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you all for watching. I'm College Lefty and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.